Polly Hanna Klass was born on January 3, 1981, in Fairfax, California, to Mark and Eve Klass. In 1993, Polly lived with her mother and her younger sister, Annie, in Petaluma, California, a low crime town in Sonoma County, 40 miles north of San Francisco. Polly was a pretty, brown-eyed, fair-skinned youngster with dimples. Polly had a dramatic streak and loved being in school plays. She dreamed of acting professionally someday. Theater and music were major interests as well. On October 1st, 1993, Polly invited two of her best friends for a sleepover. The three friends were playing in her room when around 10.30 p.m., Polly opened her bedroom door to find a bearded, middle-aged stranger holding a knife. He threatened the girls and they were frightened, so all three remained quiet. As he tied them up, he told Polly's friends to count to 1,000 and left the house with Polly. Polly's friends did not bother to count. They struggled and freed themselves and quickly ran to Polly's mother's room to tell her what had happened. Eve Nicole dialed 911 and the hunt was on. A stranger had invaded a private home in Petaluma, California and took an innocent child from her very own bedroom. The ground search for Polly covered over 1,000 square miles and air search covered over 3,000 square miles. For the first time, missing child search areas were recorded on CAD maps. The people in Petaluma and surrounding communities banded together and formed the Polly Class Search Center. They were outraged and determined to find Polly. Men, women, and children came by the dozens to do what they could, answer phones, stuff envelopes, create PR packages, and help manage special events and volunteers. All told, there were almost 4,000 volunteers. Actress Winona Ryder, who had been raised in Petaluma, offered a $200,000 reward for Polly's safe return during the search. After Polly's death, Ryder dedicated her film Little Women to Polly's memory, which had been one of Polly's favorite novels. From the very beginning, the search for Polly class was conducted using the internet, which had never been done before. This was 1993, the dawn of the information superhighway. The day after Polly was kidnapped, two Petaluma residents contacted the police department to inform them that Polly's missing child poster had been digitized, resulting in a crisp, recognizable image. The missing child poster soon received a far wider distribution than any previous missing child poster, which is one of the reasons why so many people know about Polly. The press called her America's child. It is also appropriate to call her the world's first internet child because what happened to Polly became known to so many through the internet. A candle burned in her window for nine weeks. The flame was extinguished when they were told she was not found alive. A little girl named Polly, with a beautiful smile, kidnapped from her very own bedroom, was gone. The loss of Polly was acknowledged both nationally and internationally with headlines that read, America Cries. During the search for Polly, over two billion images of her had been distributed worldwide. Databases were developed for poster mailing management, volunteer management, search area management, and management of leads phoned in. The Polly Class Foundation was born when the community united in a way that showed just the very best of humanity. The dream was to save a child, but 20 years later, the foundation has turned her tragic death into a hopeful vision and dedicated action. Polly's legacy has shaped the lives of others. Her kidnapping led to new laws. The foundation worked with others to implement a statewide system and then took the Amber Alert campaign national, and now all 50 states have statewide systems. Since 1993, the Poly Class Foundation has helped more than 8,500 families of missing children, counseling them on ways to find their children and work with law enforcement. We make and distribute posters of missing children for these families and provide support for families in need. Our hotline is answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week in missing child emergencies. The foundation provides worldwide free distribution of educational child safety and internet safety information to parents. The kit teaches parents how to integrate safety every day and save their children's life. I wanted to personally call and thank you all for these letters that you have been sending me because I really believe that it helped save my son last night. Polly Hannah Class was a passionate, sensitive, and hopeful child. At the Polly Class Foundation, we value the power of hope. 
and will provide a lifeline to families as long as they need us. Our core value has always been to cherish children and protect them any way we can.